let him know. Be like, hey, what are some things that you want to do? You know, what do you want to like? And I'm not saying it in a weird way. Like, whatever you want to do, we'll try it. Like, if there's something you haven't tried, at least do it one time. And if you don't like it, then guess what? We don't have to do it again. <laughs> uh, you know, just let let that person know that you're you're willing to try new things, try different things with this person. So, so not to be afraid, right? So start with great communication uh, or some com- some form of communication. That's what I always tell people. That's the biggest thing, again, for me is I want to have great communication with whoever I'm with. And that just means in all aspects of, uh, of our relationship, not just being intimate, like physically, mentally, like, you know, just everywhere. Great communication instead of having to wait for you to, you know what I mean? Like there's some people who are like, oh, like one day he's going to turn into the most spiciest person. No, it's not going to happen. Come on now. So bring up the communication. The second one that we have is focus on emotional intimacy first. Strengthen the emotional bond, how deeper emotional connection can lead to more adventurous physical connection. And I think people just lack the emotional part, you know, because they straight get into the physical part, right? It's you kiss me, you turn me on, and then boop, slide it right in. <laughs> and if that's what you need to do at the moment, then go ahead and do that. You know, there's there's a, there's a time and place for, for quickies, right? There's a time and place for that.